Hi guys, John here from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your auto backups. So if Reaper crashes, you don't lose any work. We're going to do it in a way so that your project files are not cluttered up. You should have a temp folder on your desktop for uh, Reaper peak files. If you don't, create a temp folder on your desktop. Inside there, I want you to make a folder called Reaper backups. This is where we're going to save all of our project backups. You're going to look in the Reaper project preferences. I'm going to save the project file references with relative path names. That should be the default. And when overwriting the project file, rename old project to rpp-back. And what that does is it saves our current project as a backup. So the second file here is the previous time we saved. Next, we want to uh, uncheck keep multiple versions, uncheck timestamp backup, and uncheck keep undo histories. We're going to set this to save every six minutes. We're not going to save into the project directory, but we are going to save into the additional directory. So I have to hit browse there and choose where we want it. All right, so that's all the setup. I'm going to hit OK. Now if we hit save here, we can see the current time is there and the previous time of the old version is there. The last time we saved can be shown in this little display here. Right click to get the options. Now in six minutes, we'll see a auto backup in our Reaper backups folder. The Reaper auto backups are to save you from losing work. If Reaper crashes while you're working, the backups will be saving every six minutes, so you'd never lose at the most six minutes of work. If you're able to save and close the project successfully, then the newest version will always be in your projects folder. You only need the auto backups and usually just the most recent one if Reaper crashes. Reaper is so stable that I rarely need these, but I always make sure that I have this set up on all my systems. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials. Thanks.